James Kaufman, World News Report, today, March 26, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Something just is not right with NOAA and NASA's information anymore. All the upgrades appear to be downgrades. We're going to go over what's right and what's wrong with what's going on currently. But they're telling us that we're in a G2 geomagnetic storm. And we're assuming that that was caused by the huge coronal hole. Which means solar winds were allowed to flow from the sun out the coronal hole and hit the earth. And these are much faster than normal solar winds because of the missing canopy of the sun. Well, we're seeing a lot of heavy plasma. And I'll show you what the winds have done. And I'll also show you their official forecast. Very, very freaky stuff going on. Starting out with our KP indexes, our Boulder KP index first. It's kind of a combination of what Earth is experiencing on Earth, i.e. not our satellites. But the Boulder KP index says that we had a geomagnetic disturbance for the first six hours of the day. And we're currently in a G1 geomagnetic storm. Our Fredericksburg had a geomagnetic disturbance for the first three hours of the day. Had us in a G1 geomagnetic storm for three hours. And we dropped back to a geomagnetic disturbance. Now the estimated planetary index. This is the upgraded index that NASA and NOAA upgraded and exclusively use well they said that we were in a geomagnetic storm a g1 followed by a geomagnetic distur disturbance followed by six hours of nothing and now we're in a g2 geomagnetic storm and we have been for six hours and it looks like the next bar to drop will be the same if maybe not worse Taking a look at our college index, usually the most sensitive, starts the day off with six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, well, really nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, and the last six hours have been a G2 geomagnetic storm. These are KP6s, KP6s. All right, moving over to our GOES X-ray flux. Most of y'all know that plasma is released from the sun by either a solar flare or a filament eruption, whereas solar winds are released from the sun from a coronal hole. There's a big difference there, and I want to make that, well, understood as we go on. We don't see any real activity over the last 72 hours. We see a bunch of M1s, which should not create geomagnetic storms, although they say near the equinoxes twice a year our shields are extremely weak and very small flare flares can create geomagnetic storms well that means we'd probably be looking at this flare because we have heavy plasma hitting the planet when in fact they're saying that we're under a geomagnetic storm because of solar winds which i will show you now all right Noah's warning, we're in a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm. The watch was issued for today. And they're saying it's created by this coronal hole here, which means it should be solar winds. A G2 moderate geomagnetic storm watch has been extended into March 26, 2025, due to the arrival of coronal hole high speed winds. High speed stream. So, a coronal hole high speed stream of winds is expected to affect Earth with increased levels of geomagnetic response. A coronal hole is a less dense area in the solar corona. They appear dark because they are cooler. Solar winds, not plasma, escape from these features at higher speeds, known as high speed streams, HSSs, when they arrive at Earth. Escalated geomagnetic activity may result. So, they're calling this out. The big coral hole. We all expected this, well, geomagnetic storm 
to be based on solar winds. Over to Go's Solar Ultraviolet Imager because they've turned everything else off. You can see that this should be a two day event based on the length of this huge dark coral hole here. Now we have no solar flares or filaments, so we shouldn't be seeing heavy plasma, right? Now don't worry, we're going to take a look at the wind speeds, the plasma density, and everything else, and their forecast. This is just a, a review of the estimated planetary KP index. It's a G1 geomagnetic storm, 4.67, and 6 hours of a G2, which we're currently in. All right, looking at their forecast, the 26 here, this is our Space Weather Prediction Center, also upgraded with your tax dollars recently. They have solar plasma here from about 5 centimeters cubed, ending the day at 6 centimeters cubed, right? 5 to 6. No uh, other activity before it or after it. Then we go down to solar winds. They have them starting at about 375 and ending the day at about 425, right? That's what we're seeing there. Well, let's go see what's going on. And, of course, what they say does not seem to be the actual facts of the situation. We have plasma up at 24 here, 20 here. I know that there's some peaks, 34. I believe there was something, 35, 36.87. It's some pretty heavy plasma. Definitely not the 5 to 6 centimeters cubes, uh, cube that they forecasted. And we're still currently at 26 centimeters cubed. Again, not the 5 to 6 centimeters cubed they forecasted. They had winds starting at around 425, going down to 375. We've got them starting at 400 kilometers per second. And we should be seeing solar winds, especially since they say that there was a geomagnetic storm in this time period here. But we do see plasma up there. The plasma is called, caused by filament eruptions and solar flares, not coronal holes. And then all of a sudden, it looks like the winds come on right about here, pushing the temperature up, although the temperature should move with plasma. And instead of going down to 375, as they expected, they're up here at 625 and 645. So you can be assured that that next, well, measurement on the KP index is going to be another G2 geomagnetic storm. Now this area here is coronal winds hitting, uh, although we do have accompanying plasma that's hard to understand. But what caused this very heavy plasma all day long prior? That's the real question. We do see those unpredicted solar winds. Remember, we'll show you where they were at, about 400 kilometers per second. We're up at 650, 645. So we will be in a geomagnetic storm through this evening. Uh, it looks like the plasma is dying off. Whatever created the plasma, well, I don't know. Our shields are down here in pink. We'll make sure on ACE real quickly. And ACE tells us the same thing. When they said that we were having a geomagnetic storm earlier in the day, it was very heavy plasma. This is up to 100 centimeters cubed. Where would that have come from? Our shields are down here. We have no solar winds whatsoever until about 1300 UTC time. And that's really when they're calling out the geomagnetic storm. But look at all this plasma through here. What caused all oh, this heavy plasma we did not have any type of solar flare or any film eruption which would cause plasma or the four states of matter instead we're seeing a quick jump in solar winds caused by the coronal hole and that should be ongoing for the next 40 hours look at those temperatures all those winds up even though the plasma is dying off with that said, God bless you and yours, folks. Their information is never correct. A quick reminder of the Space Weather Prediction Center's actual guesses here. They had solar winds down here 
375 to maybe 400. Maybe we got it wrong backwards, but not at 600, not at 650. Maybe tomorrow it goes up to about 550, but not 650 where it is currently. Today, the 26th, we have plasma from 5 to 6 centimeters cubed, and we're seeing 36 centimeters cubed. And we just paid a million dollars to upgrade this Space Weather Prediction Center for NOAA. God bless, share it, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in bizarro world.